Hello students, welcome to your science class. In this video, we will continue chapter 1, Crop Production and Management. And we will discuss the last topic of this chapter, which is food from animals. Yes, you heard it right, food from animals. Though we get most of our food from crop plants, animals also provide us food. The food provided by animals consists of milk, eggs and meat. The food obtained from animals is very rich in proteins. In fact, animal food provides certain proteins which are not present in plant foods. Most of the food obtained from animals also contains a good amount of fat but it contains very little of carbohydrates. Animal food however contains minerals and vitamins. The food obtained from animals is more expensive than that obtained from plant sources. The animals which provide us food are mainly of two types. One is milk yielding animals or milch animals and the second one is meat and egg yielding animals. The examples of milk yielding animals or milch animals are cow, buffalo and goat. Milk is a perfect natural diet. Milk and its products called dairy products like butter, ghee, curd and cheese are highly nutritious foods. The examples of meat and egg yielding animals are goat, sheep, fish and poultry that is chicken, hen and duck. Out of these animals, goat, sheep and fish give us meat whereas poultry gives us meat as well as eggs. Honey is another nutritious food obtained from animals. It is obtained from insects called bees or honey bees. Many people living in the coastal areas consume fish as a major part of their diet. Just as each crop has its own requirements of proper soil, irrigation, manures and fertilizers and weedicides, in the same way each domestic animal has its own needs of food, shelter and health care. The branch of agriculture which deals with the feeding, shelter, health and breeding of domestic animals is called animal husbandry. The various practices necessary for raising animals for food and other purposes are proper feeding of animals, proper shelter for animals, prevention and cure of animal diseases and proper breeding of animals. Milch yielding animals like cows and buffaloes are reared on small scale in rural homes whereas on a large scale they are reared in big dairy farms. So this is all about food from animals and we come to an end of chapter 1 crop production and management. Thank you.